Hello, I'm Archie Luxury and welcome to the program. Today I'd like to introduce a new segment, Watch Facts with Peter Matty. And uh, Peter is a young uh, apprentice watchmaker. He's a huge fan of the Archie Luxury program. And uh, I've started chatting to him and I said, hey Peter, let's get some videos, let's work on some videos together. And uh, Peter's a really lovely kid. He's 16 years old. And uh, he's just, he's got a real wealth of knowledge. And, uh, you know, he's, I really like to encourage young folks to uh, pursue their dreams. And uh, if on the Archie Luxury channel I can help a young guy get a bit of a start, well, hey, that's fantastic. It's always good to help out the young. You know, we talk about these mean Y Jenners. Well, when we find a good one, we've got to try and nurture them and uh, help them along. So I hope you enjoy this segment. In this first segment, Peter is uh, discussing uh, what is a decorated movement. A decorated movement, of course, is that really nicely finished movement that brands like Patek Philippe, Audemars Piguet, Jaeger Le Coultre, Breguet use to finish their movements. And uh, Peter's put together this great audio track, and I've put some some uh, some footage, some sorry, some uh, pictures with it, and uh, I hope I hope you find this quite enjoyable. And uh, if you guys support it, I'll get Peter to make a few more clips. So please enjoy this. Watch facts with Peter. That should be a good segment, aren't you? He's a really lovely kid. Hello, everyone. My name is Peter. And I'm here today to explain to all of you what a decorated movement is. A decorated movement is an ordinary watch movement that has certain visual effects added to it that are just aesthetically pleasing to the eye. Now decorated movements have been around since the beginning of horology. They've, it's just adds to the beauty of the watch, it adds to the collectability of the watch, it adds just to the overall appeal of the watch. It, it makes a watch look very much more beautiful. Now typically a watch with a decorated movement is usually paired with what's known as an exhibition back. What an exhibition back is is a crystal on the, wa ca on the case back of the watch so that you can see into the watch and look right at the movement. Now generally that's only when the movement is very highly decorated but it can be on a watch with moderate decoration. It can be on a watch with no decoration, an exhibition back. But typically, they're for watches with highly decorated movements. Now, there are many different effects that are done to decorate a movement. Uh, blued screws are one, one common thing that's done. Uh, now, bluing on watch hands and watch screws came around during the time when the blued finish was being put on handguns. You see, at the time, when the blued finish came out on handguns, it was considered uh, really cool, just looked very nice, aesthetically pleasing to the eye. However, as far as watches went at the time, there weren't really a lot of options for watch hands or watch screws. It was either silver which drew a lot of light and it reflected just ridiculously or painting the hands which just chipped off so the blued finish uh, really was popular on you'll see it on a lot of older watches but it's done on modern watches today too uh, mo mainly with the hands on older watches but a lot of modern watches today like to use the blued screws to add to the decoration now that's just one different type. Another thing that's done to, and this is a very popular thing to do to watches now, is what's known as perlage. Perlage is a circular engraving pattern that's put on either the main plate of the watch, which is just the piece, the part of the watch that holds all the pieces in, the mainspring, the hairspring, all that. Uh, and it's done on the bridges too. I, there's, there isn't too much perlage done on the rotor of the watch. It's mainly the main plate and the bridges. 
Pearlage is very common in Rolex. Rolex does a lot of Pearlage. Even though the watches don't have exhibition backs, Rolex does a lot of Pearlage on their bridges and on the main plate of the watch. Now that is just for the appeal of the watchmaker and the watch owner just to know that that's in there. They took the time to carefully, by hand, do overlapping circles inside the watch. Now Archie provided a very good picture as an example of this, which is a Breguet chronograph, uh, which is a picture of the inner part of the case back of the watch. That is an excellent example of perlage. Now another type of decoration for a watch movement is what's known as Geneva stripes. Now Geneva stripes are another very popular form of decoration particularly on bridges and rotors not so much with the main plate but particularly bridges and rotors Archie also provided a very wonderful picture of the Breguet chronographs rotor those are Geneva stripes they are a linear pattern engra not engraved but machine carved onto the rotor or the bridge now Patek Philippe uses that a lot I'm not a hundred percent sure whether or not those are required to attain the Geneva seal. I, th I believe they are if you apply for the Geneva seal for your particular timepiece. I believe if you're applying you have to have the Geneva stripes which is I, how I believe they got their name but I'm not a hundred percent sure. So Geneva stripes are another form. The final form and most popular on rotors and the watch case is engraving. Engraving is a very time-consuming, difficult process which is mainly done by hand. Some of the lower-end watch companies uh, have a tendency to have it done with a machine with mass-produced watches, but for companies like Audemars Piguet and Jaeger Le Coultre, uh, and Patek Philippe, uh, their, their watches are all hand-engraved underneath the microscope by hand slowly and carefully now typically when engraving is done on the rotor of a watch it pretty much always has an exhibition back now as far as exhibition backs go they usually have varying types of crystals you can have a mineral crystal you can have an acrylic crystal and you can have a sapphire Generally, with the higher-end watches, it's the sapphire, just for more scratch resistance than anything else, especially considering that the watch has to be, that crystal has to be touching your wrist every day. So, those are the particular, now, one, one final note on engraving. It really is mainly for rotors, rotors and cases. Uh, Patek Philippe, really likes to engrave actually no rather more Audemars Piguet they really do astounding jobs on engraving their rotors so does uh, Blancpain they do a fantastic job of engraving the rotors really really fantastic job it's all hand done and it takes hours upon hours upon hours of hard painstaking work so I hope this was very helpful again the purpose of a decorated movement is just now one final note actually uh, some some decorations are not visible some de like in a Patek Philippe each part is usually decorated in some way each bridge not so much with the gears but mostly with the bridges and the main plate but a lot of those get covered up when the watch is put together so it's mostly just knowing that that's in there, that the time was taken to put all of that time effort into the watch to add those effects. So in, in, decoration is not always visible to the eye, but it's just knowing that it's there that adds to the enjoyment of the watch. And especially the enjoyment of the watchmaker who gets to see all of those wonderful engravings that in some cases can't be seen uh, by the owner of the watch. So I hope this was very helpful in explaining what a decorated movement was 
and the certain effects that are done on decorated movements. Thank you again for your time and have a great day. Looking at you all the time to go